Hi, my name's Chippy from Ultrabook News. I'm a tech blogger and I'm a YouTube partner. And last weekend I was at uh, the video camp in Dusseldorf where I was showing people how I used my camera, my Ultrabook, uh, to do a sort of quick video edit and upload to, to YouTube. At the presentation, um, I actually didn't do a brilliant job of uh, showing how I do the, the video, so I wanted to record that now. So this video is a recording of me, video, really, really, video recording the uh, Toshiba laptop that we've got here. So you'll see the process of recording, you'll see the process of editing and upload to YouTube, and hopefully it'll be done in under 10 minutes, okay? So I've got the FZ150 uh, here from Lumix, which is my uh, it's a bridge camera, it's the one I use for, for uh, video and uh, photo, I think it's a very flexible device. It has the uh, pull-out uh, screen which is great for self-video as well. So let's pretend we're at an event uh, in, uh, in which we've got uh, a laptop here that we want to show, uh, we want to video and we want to upload to YouTube in a very efficient and quick way. Um, let's assume this is a new news item and the quicker we upload it, the better it's going to be. Okay. So let's uh, show you the process. So, hi, this is Chip from Ultrabook News, and we're at the uh, presentation of the Toshiba Z830 here, the Ultrabook. I've got it uh, just behind me. I'm going to take you around the device, take a few minutes to show you the ports, the screen, the keyboard. Let's have a look, see what we can see around the device. Don't forget to like the video and uh, catch up with us on uh, G Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. Right, now we're going to a close, uh, close view of the uh, device and I'm going to flip the camera. I'm going to do two or three uh, scenes, very brief uh, scenes that I can throw together and each scene is going to be a one take scene that hopefully I won't have to edit afterwards. Right. So here it is, Toshiba Z830. Uh, this is a special model with uh, an Intel print on the cover, it looks, uh, looks pretty good, but the most important thing to show you is really the thickness of this device. It, it really is an ultrabook. It's one of the thinnest ultrabooks there is. And it only weighs 1.1 kilo, which is uh, really, really light. Let's take a look around the device and at some of the ports. Okay, so we're gonna do another edit here. Second. Long button, okay, and so along the side of the device on the left, you've just got the two audio ports there. That's a separate headphone and microphone port. Flip the device around to the back, and you'll see VGA, it's a full VGA, DC in, full HDMI, two USB 2s, and at the end, the Gigabit Ethernet port. On the other side we've got a USB 3 and a Kensington lock port and it's clean across the side and across the front. Right, we'll open up the video, open up the so taking a look inside, we've got the keyboard, and you can see it's a backlit keyboard, which is really important uh, for people that are working in, especially press events and uh, um, press rooms, the backlit keyboards come in really handy. Once you have one, it's very difficult to have a device that hasn't got one. There's a couple of programmable buttons here, there's an on-off button for the trackpad here, and there are some cursor control buttons on the right-hand side. The screen is 1366 by 78 it's a 13.3 inch screen, uh, pretty bright and pretty good contrast and colour uh, and it's a matte finish as well so it's going to be useful for outdoor use. On the underside of the device you've got fan output here, there's a couple of speaker ports at the front and it's a pressed steel uh, casing uh, sealed unit with a battery inside. Right, let's just do one uh, kind of outro shot for that. So uh, we'll do that like this. 
So that's five minutes we've taken so far. Right. So that is the Toshiba Z830, just a quick look around the device. Uh, we're going to have more on this uh, on Entrepot News, uh, including a review, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video. Right, so bring the camera in over here and I can show you how quickly we edit and upload this. So we just basically throw the SD card in and we pull in the, the videos. I actually use so obviously I'm using Windows 7 here. I use um, uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery to pull in the videos. I'm going to import those. I'm going to raise after importing. There were nine videos, uh, nine cuts there, and one of them needs a trim. I can remember pressing the wrong button. So one of those is going to need a trim. Well, that's doing that. I will start up uh, Power Director. Oops, I'll start up Power Director. And that is starting up with a template that I prearranged with a pre roll, post roll, and title. So, what I need to do now is um, pull all those videos in, Let's just drag them across in there, and Hopefully we can get this done in under five minutes. So we drag those in, insert. I uh, just want to check the start and finish of each of these clips. So let's have a look. So here it is, Toshiba Z830. Uh, this is a, take a look around the device and at some of the ports. So that one I don't need to get rid of that. And got the two audio ports there, that's two USB 2s, and at the end, the Gmet Ether. Okay. So, alongside side of the device, as well. Just taking a look inside. So, that was the one that needed a quick edit. Let's just do that. So, let's bring that up in the. Um, in the trim module here and go to the end of that let's see where it needs the trim somewhere around oh actually the whole of that does it let's have a look the whole of that actually needs to go so get rid of that that's eight minutes gone so far I think that's pretty much it. On the right hand side. Right, so now I'm going to apply cross fade to all that. Overlap transitions, we're going to put a quick title on that. And we're going to call it the Z830 test. We're going to centre that, save, and we're pretty much done. We can go to producer now and using a preset profile of three megabits per second I have set up for YouTube. We will push that out as the Z830 test video. So, so quick, sorry, quick break in the video. Uh, no time lost though. So we're gonna start that process. And it is a two minute 16 video and it's showing it's gonna take around one minute 1 minute 15 seconds to, to process. So while that's uh, processing out, I go to YouTube, make sure I've got this uh, ready to do the, the video upload. And unfortunately with YouTube, you can't start filling in the fields until you've added the video, and I can't add the video until the process is finished. So we've got uh, 25, 35 seconds here uh, to wait. It's done 50%. We've only 30 seconds uh, elapsed, so it's over 2x real time here. Uh, we're running in a balanced mode on battery, no power uh, plugged into that. So really, really quick. Uh, remember we're crunching 1080p uh, down to 720p here. Uh, still got the 1080p source, so if I need to, to upload that at a better quality later, I can do. So just the last few seconds there, and that's taken exactly one minute to edit. So just go to the upload video. The page here and it's the output files here 
and that was called the Z830 test video. We'll just quickly have a preview of that, see if it looks okay. And there it is. This device, it, it really is an ultra book. It's one of the thin board. As you can see, it's a backlit keyboard, which is really important. Uh, for one, it's very difficult. And Toshiba Z830, just a quick look around the device. Let's have a look at one of those edits. So that is the Toshiba Z830 facing uh, sealed unit with a battery inside. So that is the Toshiba Z. Good, well, it looks okay. We can go for that video. And now that's uh, going to be uploaded at 2 megabits per second on my local uh, cable here. It's going to take about four minutes, which gives me enough time just to fill in the, the forms here and make sure that that gets uh, uploaded correctly. Right, so that is now 10 minutes done. And if I just save the changes on that video, um, that is going to take another four minutes. So, so basically what we've done here is we've taken the video, we've done uh, a multiple scene video without any editing. I've tried to do each scene uh, perfectly on the camera so it didn't need any editing other than the crossfade in between. Uh, the edit process took a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes. The render process took uh, two minutes, I think it was. No, one minute and the upload is taking four minutes. So in total, it really was under 10 minutes to get that uh, video up. And that, I think, is, um, is uh, one of the quickest ways I know of getting YouTube videos up. Uh, use uh, a camera that's got a nice uh, swivel screen. Use a uh, profile uh, on the camera that gives you uh, a, a, a format that you can edit well on the laptop. This laptop has H.264 hardware encoding and decoding, so H.264 is what I work with here. Um, the encoding is really quick on this, on the Ultrabook with the uh, Intel QuickSync video. And I crunch it down to three and a half megabits per second of YouTube just to make sure it uploads as quickly as possible. So the whole process was 10 minutes. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll um, write the article for this. Um, and I'll produce this video and you should see the finished uh, finished video underneath this if you're watching it on YouTube uh, I think it's in the playlist so thanks for watching my name's Chippy uh, you can find me on ultrabooknews.com I'm at Chippy on Twitter uh, and thanks to the guys at the uh, video camp uh, in Dusseldorf on last weekend I learned a lot see you soon